rate of change of vertex angle of an isosceles triangle. The question is, the base of an isosceles triangle is 6 feet. If the altitude is 4 feet and increasing at the rate of 2 inches per minute, at what rate is the vertex angle changing? Now, to represent this situation, we have a diagram here. So, we have a triangle ABC, base BC is 6 feet. And now that is the height of the triangle. This is if the altitude or the height of this triangle is 4 feet and increasing at 2 inches per minute. So it starts with 4 but it increases. So at any instance of time, let us say that the altitude is x. So we define a variable x which represents altitude for us. And this unit we are using is feet. So we'll write x in feet since the base is in feet. Okay, So that's a variable x. It is increasing at a rate of 2 inches per minute. So inches and feet, we need to convert the unit. At what rate is the vertex angle changing? We need to find rate of change of the angle. So let the angle be theta, right? Now since this is isosceles triangle, we have dropped a perpendicular from there. So that divides the angle theta into two equal angles. So equal angles are theta by 2 and theta by 2, correct? So let's write down what is given to us. Is given to us that base BC is 6, right? So we know BC equals to 6 feet. And then it is given to us that it is height or altitude is changing at the rate of 2 inches per minute. Since we have defined variable x for the altitude, so we have dx dt given to us as 2 inches, right? 2 inches per minute. Now it's a good practice to convert it into feet. So we have 12 inches in one feet, right? So the relation is 12 inches in one feet, right? So 2 inches will be 1 over 6, right? So this becomes 1 over 6 feet per minute. So that is given to us. What do we need to find? We need to find at what rate is the vertex angle changing? So we say let the vertex angle be theta, right? So we say theta is the vertex angle. So we need to find d theta dt at altitude of 4 feet when x is equals to 4. So this is what we need to find. So that is the question. Now in such a question, we actually make another triangle so that we also figure out at x equals to 4 what all is given to us. So I have a section of this triangle drawn here. So when x is equals to 4, at that time, what is the situation? So if I have x equals to 4, I know this is fixed. Half of it is 3. So that is 3 for me. I can find the hypotenuse of this triangle, which is 4 square plus 3 square square root, that gives me 5. So this side is 5 for me, right? So for an angle of theta by 2, we have a right triangle here, whose sides are 3, 4, and 5. So this is going to finally help us to evaluate d theta dt at x equals to 4. So it's a good practice when you sketch a diagram. You should think in advance what you will need and draw that also. Now let's try to solve the question. Now we need to find rate of change of angle theta and we know x. That means we should have a relation between the two. Only then we can find. So for that, let's drop a perpendicular since the perpendicular will divide this triangle into two equal parts as it is isosceles triangle, right? Isosceles triangle means we have equal sides, right? These two sides are equal, correct? Isosceles triangle. That means these two angles will also be equal. Therefore, theta is divided into two parts. So it's theta by 2 each, right? So it's theta by 2 plus theta by 2. Now, consider one of the triangles. Let's consider the triangle on the side, right side, which is AOC. In that case, how can you relate angle with x? And the given side 3. Well, it's very clear. It is tan theta by 2, right? So we can write this as tan Okay, so we write this as tan theta by 2 is equals to opposite over adjacent. That gives us 3 over x, right? So tan theta by 2 is 3 over x for us. 
Now we want to find rate of change, that too with respect to time of angle. So let's differentiate both sides with time, right? So we get d dt of tan theta by 2 equals to d dt of 3 over x. Got it? Now what is the derivative of tan theta by 2? Derivative of tan theta by 2 is secant square theta by 2 times the derivative of the angle itself, right? So we get this as half. Derivative of theta by 2 is half, right? And for tan, it is secant square theta by 2 times d theta dt, right? Chain rule. Since the variable is theta, right? And on this side, we get 3. Derivative of 1 over x is minus 1 over x squared. So we can write this as minus 3 over x squared dx dt. So that's what we get, right? Now we can isolate d theta dt and then figure out how much it should be. So from here, d theta dt can be equal to, let's take all the terms on the other side. So we get, we already have minus 3 over x squared times dx dt, okay, dx dt, and then we'll do times 2 over secant square theta by 2. So that's what we have. Now, what do we need to find? We need to find the this rate of change of angle d theta dt when x equals to 4. Now, when x equals to 4, what all is known to us? We know x equals to 4, we know dx dt which is 1 over 6 feet per minute and secant square theta is what? Secant square theta is, secant is reciprocal of cos. Well, we could have written cos here itself. So, cos theta by 2 from here will be adjacent side of 4 divided by 5. So, that is what cos is. So, we can plug in all the values and get our answer. So, we get d theta over dt at x equals to 4 equals to minus 3 over 4 square, right? That is x dx dt is 1 over 6, right? So, it's 1 over 6 times 2. Secant square, so secant is reciprocal of cos. You can say cos square theta by 2 times cos square theta by 2, which is 4 over 5. So, we have 4 over 5 whole square, right? Since it is square. So, that's what you get. And now, you can simplify this and get your answer. So, in this, 4 square and 4 square will cancel, right? 4 square and 4 square will cancel. 3 times 2 is 6. That also cancels. So you're left with minus 1 over 5 square, which is 25. So you get minus 1 over 25 as your answer. And rate of change will always be in radians, right? So we get unit as radians per minute. It is very important to, for you to understand that in trigonometric ratios, when we are doing calculus, all the angles are always in radians, correct? So we get negative 1 over 25 radians per minute. Negative signifies that as this height is increasing or the altitude is increasing, the angle at the vertex is decreasing. Do you see that? So the vertex angle you can write as is decreasing at the rate of 1 over 25 radians per minute. Do you see that? You could write like that, decreasing at the rate of 1 over 25 radians per second or the rate of change of vertex angle is minus 1 over 25 radians per minute. So either way is fine. I hope you understand how we solve this question. First step, of course, is to make a related diagram and also understand what is given to us, what we need to find. Once we know what is need to find, we can make another diagram so that at that instance, whatever is required should be known to us, right? So we make that particular diagram also, which was a small triangle with sides 3 and 4, figured out the other side should be 5. And then 
differentiate both respect both sides with respect to time and get the answer that is the approach i hope you understand it and you appreciate it thank you and all the best